Hi and welcome to Ruby's Red. Well, it's that time of the year where we start to spring clean, where we're intentional about cleaning house. Now, we can all clean the different rooms in our house that need attention and on face value, the house looks good. We open the windows to let the fresh air in and we're like, yeah, this is nice. But hidden in the crevices, in the hidden spaces, needs light to shine on it because in those spaces we can see what's really there what's really needs a good clean same with the physical house you know we spend a lot of time in the gym on the outside of us you know pumping 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 looking fine fine and sharp sharp as they say <laughs> and some of us cut and nip tuck and get sucked from the gut i'll say that again some of us cut and nip tuck and get sucked from the gut wanting to be magazine snatch Mwah! You know, looking good on the outside with dresses and colours adorning yet the insides are mourning. Wanting to look that perfect look. But on the inside, as they used to say when we was younger, we need a good washout. <laughs> that means to clean the inside of us. But in those inner parts, the intimate parts of us, you know, that we really don't get to see unless we're close, up close and personal in those deep relationships that we have with people. And some, we can be in deep relationships and sometimes we can never, ever get to see the innermost part of that person. But how do we get to clean the inner house, the inside of us? In Psalms 51.10, the Bible says, create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me. Within the heart, God's spirit is. But we all have a spirit working within us all. But how do we create in us a clean heart? We need to go to our maker because we didn't make ourselves. He will create and construct and reconstruct and redesign and build us again from the inside out. What's the part that we play? Number one, position ourselves for the heart to be cleaned. That means we become intentional with what we want God to do within us because sometimes we are dissatisfied with what the heart is producing. We're talking about cleaning the inner house. Number two, cleaning the heart. What does that even look like? When we clean the heart, you know, we know how to clean the outside. We know how to clean our own houses. But to clean the heart means to let go of the things that is plaguing us. It might be unforgiveness, it might be anger, it might be bitterness, it might be sabotage, it might be those booky behaviours, you know, that obstruct the heart from true freedom. You know, but in Psalms 51.10, David is asking God, his maker, and he's saying, God, create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit in me. So we have to position ourselves to allow ourselves for God to work on the heart. You know, I didn't make myself. We didn't make ourselves. God did. But allowing God in is allowing God to shape us through our experiences, our challenges, our relationships, you know, and those hard places. But under the light of God, through his love, through his grace and his redemptive work, do we really get to see God move in our hearts? Renew a right spirit within us. We all have a spirit working. But what is the spirit that is operating in us right now? And we can see that by the outworkings of what we produce or manifest. Renew in us a right spirit is to repair, to restore, to replenish, to fill us up with the spirit of God, connecting us with the Holy Spirit, not the spirit of this age, not the spirit of our bad experiences, not the spirit coming out of our foundations of our history, but God's spirit, yeah? What are the benefits of having a clean house? To improve our thinking, better air, creates lighter atmosphere, creativity and inner stability, it lowers our stress levels to allow God to live in this house. For when we prepare our hearts, we prepare our house for what is coming. Because we all have a spirit working within us all. 
of what spirit are we operating in? So let's clean our house so we can become the lighthouse and a prepared house for the season that is coming ahead. So we can blossom in our bloom, add flower in our power, share the light with God's love and share the love with his light.